Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to train our legs. Unfortunately, I missed few of the footage which I was recording because I was trying out something new with my camera setup. Didn't work out quite well. Still at the learning phase. But yes, the usual, we're going to start with the greatest stretch, five repetitions on each side and then do a little bit of deep squatting because we need to ensure our hip mobility is at the right place. As I mentioned always, if you prefer, you can go ahead and do a 5-minute cardio session and that should be more than sufficient. So I'm going to just quickly move on to the exercises bit because again, I lost some of the footage. To start off with, we are going to start with the squats. I'm going to warm up with empty bar. Yes, I lost that bit of the video. But again, I just put on a simple plates of 10 kilos on each side and started doing another set of warm up before I go into my working sets. Now. In the warm-up itself, like we do always, we are practicing our deep squat strength. So we're going to do as low, as deep as possible. Stay there for a few seconds, just a second or two, and then come back up. Now make sure you have absolute control of the weight. You need not go extremely heavy. Always keep the weight enough so that you can do the repetition in absolute control, which is the foremost important thing during squatting. Trust me. If you do this over a period of time, like I did, I can already see the difference in terms of the stability and my strength change. So I believe and I'm pretty sure the same will happen to you given enough period of time doing the same thing consistently without going extremely heavy. Going extremely heavy does have good amount of benefits, but it also has equal number of risks if not done properly. A lighter weight keeps you safe. And you need not worry much about causing yourself injury because you know you can control the weight very well and you can you have absolute control over your repetitions also. So what we have done is basically four sets, 10 repetitions, deep squats with absolute control. Again, those four sets have been presided by two sets of warm up with another 10, 10 rep total, 60 reps of squatting, but done extremely slow and deep squat the next exercise i moved on to is rdls again with rdls the principle again remains same go heavy but as heavy as you can control your lower back shouldn't uh not technically but break its form it should be stable it should not be stressed much because remember you're squ squatting deep so that would any which way cause a little bit of stress on your lower back Nothing wrong, just the lower back muscles because they're trying to stabilize you extremely hard. So they will get tired. So RDL after deeper squats is also challenging because now your lower back still has to do isolation stabilization. Basically, it is trying to stabilize your body, your core. So a lot of work there. Simple exercise, push your glutes as far behind as possible so that the bar slowly comes down while staying in contact with your body. You need not go extremely deep you just need to go deep enough wherein you feel your hamstring stretch and once you feel it there you just squeeze your glutes forward to get the bar back up so you're basically thrusting into the bar here you can see i'm using straps the weight is not heavy but i'm using straps because i just don't want to waste my grip strength or let my grip strength waste the number of repetitions i can achieve with a controlled amount of weight again not dropping the weight just letting it slowly slide down on my legs by pushing my glutes behind. And once I feel the good amount of stretch on my hamstrings, I push or squeeze my glutes together to get the bar high back up while without not causing any kind of compromise on my lower back. The next exercise is basically a superset I'm going to do, which is three sets, 20 repetitions each, leg extensions, and hamstring curls the usual nothing out of the blue hamstring curls as you always remember i like to keep my toes touching because at rdls i was keeping a wider stance toes facing out here at hamstring curls i keep my toes touching 20 repetitions once again need not go heavy focus on the repetitions try to get all those 20 repetitions in if you if you feel your hamstrings are more tight you can keep switching them in between like you can go first leg extensions then hamstrings Take a minute or two break, then hamstrings and then leg extensions. As you wish, you can superset it, but you are supposed to superset it. You take no break while switching from one exercise to the other. You only take a break in between the set. Three sets, 
20 repetitions. The break in between can be up to two minutes because we are here accumulating two exercises and a lot of volume. You shouldn't be technically be able to lift extreme or push extreme amount of weight because if you are, that means your squats and RDLs were not challenging enough. Challenge yourself in the compound movements. Give as much time under tension as possible to exhaust yourself out and then come finish it off on an equipment wherein the injury is less prone or you're less prone to the injury. And that's it for today. We are done with our exercising. We are going to finish off with static stretching, simple quad stretches and hamstring stretches. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm once again sorry for the quality of the video I have or the amount of footage I lost. That's the reason it's, a, it's been a short video. I try to explain everything together in a shorter period of time. I am just figuring out how to set the new camera setup. That's it. But yes, thank you so much for joining me. If you did like the video, please do drop a like. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. Any feedback in the comment section is greatly appreciated. Please make sure you finish your static stretching. Hold them for 15 to 20 seconds. Don't skip the part. It's vital to ensure good amount of growth of muscle, which I am definitely experiencing and I hope you are too. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. I'll see you in the next video.